Hey everyone, it's Luna Noir. Well, it's been a while since my last update video, so I figure I would do one to let you guys know what's going on. Um, in terms of the readings to start off, I do have a lot on my plate with those. Not only the requests for me reading it by myself, as well as um, doing collabs, I also found, like, I think within the last week or two, like a couple good readings that I will eventually be doing. And I've sorted them all through one of these several um, reading lists on my film fiction, basically. Though I am thinking maybe I'll spread out and probably do some non-MLP readings. Someone suggested that and I, it does sound like a good idea actually. Also, the background noise you hear is my cat. When I do recording, I try recording when he's asleep, but for some reason he's awake and he just loves irritating me because he also lives in my room with me. So I do apologize for that. <sighs> anyway, the readings do tie into the next thing, what I've been doing in terms of my channel, starting off with collabs. I have done some with Sectus the Changeling and Blah 6. I may do more with them in the incoming future, and I do want to do a couple with Draco Asmuth, as well as maybe a group one eventually, though those would take some more time and preparation, so definitely look forward to them. I don't know when they'll be coming, and there is definitely one coming eventually. We just have to strategize and coordinate a bit more with how and when we'll do it. <laughs> So, that one's going to be a very special one, and I definitely know you'll all enjoy it. Um, what kind of prevents me from doing some collabs recently? The speaker I use, as you've heard me complain before, it wasn't that good. So I kind of bought a new one, and it's kind of having the same issue, but it's like not as often. So, that one should be good to go. Aside from all of that... There are other projects. Now, while I do have others who are in projects with me, such as Inverno and F Minor and now Month of Merkab, um, I do ask them, anyone involved with those two projects, to help me out. But I do help them out as well with projects that they have, which is pretty fun. So, I feel like I should actually have a playlist of stuff that I voiced in for other people just so I could have a record of that because I have fun doing it though when it comes from my end of it I do end up quite manic because there's so much that goes into it if it's me being with other people for like a reading that is not going to be like a collab or an uncut reading then there's so much that goes into it I have to get their lines, and if they record it all in one take, I have to go through everything to get to the line. Sometimes I have to record the line, have to, not record the line, I have to piece together the line in like one or two pieces. Um, if there's like multiple recordings of a line, I have to listen to that to find the best take. Um, for my part, if I'm doing something like that too, I sometimes record all in one shot as well. So I have to go through my own lines, the narration is recorded in pieces. And it's just like a whole mess that leaves me very, very manic. And it's bad. In fact, during Month of Love and I got close to Pink Amina levels of insanity. And that was not good, actually. I don't want to revisit that. So, for Month of Macabre, things are going to be a bit different. In fact, speaking of Month of Love and a Month of Merkab, I may switch things up going forward, actually. Instead of doing one reading a day, which is a bit ambitious for me, I might just do maybe, I don't know, two, maybe three readings a week for the whole month. That way it's a bit more spread out and I have time to breathe. In fact, for my readings, I kind of want to get into the groove of probably recording and releasing two or three um, readings per week 
if not maybe every two weeks or something because I don't have a sound schedule or any schedule at all for when I do my work so it's just kind of all over the place so most times I'll record and not release for a few days or sometimes I'll record edit and then release all in the same day and that's it works out if and when it can but I can't always record and I'll get to why in a moment there's gonna be a Q&A as I mentioned before so um I did say in one of my last updates feel free to leave your questions in the comments of videos and on fan fiction so I'll definitely get to that pretty soon if you have any questions for me as Lotus or me as Lily or Midnight feel free to leave those as well because well I feel like I should broaden that a bit and when I say me as Lily or Midnight for those of you who don't know Lotus, Lily, and Midnight are not three separate girls. They are one person with one voice and a whole range of exploration to do. <laughs> so, regarding Midnight and Lily, um, for Midnight, we did have a plan. We're just trying to figure out how and when to go through with it because everything I do is pretty much unscripted as... For me, making a script would take up a little more time than what I may have depending on when I'm doing certain videos. So everything is just free reign. So whatever spills out of my mouth is what you pretty much get. <laughs> um, but I might start doing a script for Midnight in terms of her videos because it feels like that's kind of necessary. And as for Lily... Um, I'll get to who you can think for her stuff in a moment. But as for her, there are some things that are within and without of our comfort zone that we can and probably cannot do. In fact, it's taken, the fact that it's taken us this long to actually do creepy pastas is just a total miracle at all. But like I said, there are things within our comfort zone and outside of our comfort zone that we will do depending on what the story is. We may not touch it at all. So... That's why sometimes it takes me so long to actually bring out a new video for her. Because my Achilles heel with certain stories is that I don't check the contents of it ahead of time. I just pick it, I do it whenever, and then I end up regretting it sometimes. So, um, yeah, that's like not really good. So now I'm taking more time to actually check out what the contents of the story are before we do it. Because like I said, some things we can do, some things we can't do given how far in our comfort zone it is. I know it's kind of strange saying that, but like I said earlier, all three voices come from one person and there are some things that I'm generally like not comfortable with. Um, that's why some of the requests that Midnight had um, have not come to fruition because some of them were not ASMR ideas. Those were role-playing ideas. And those cannot be released on YouTube. Come on, people. Maybe those are your ideas for, like, fan stories of my OCs? But, um, can we keep it in the realm of fan stories and not ASMR? Those are, um, please, that's all I ask. Keep them in the realm of, um, fan stories. That can probably not be read on YouTube because they're not family-friendly. And I mean, I know the clops and like some of the stuff I read are not family friendly anyway, but those are ideas that are definitely not family friendly. So let's keep those private. <laughs> um, my next reading or readings, maybe the next chapter to Inverno Neff Minor, which is long, long, long overdue. And give me a second. Come here. a little better. I gave my cat a little bit of a timeout, so he won't be making, oh, he's still making noise, but he won't be making too much noise for quite a while. He just needs some time to cool off. <laughs> Where was I? All right, 
my next readings may be the next chapter two in Vernon F. Meyer, which is very, very long overdue. Um, and maybe the next chapter to Fire Timodium. But then also, I might be doing another reading. I just haven't picked what. Because the way my um, fan fiction lists are, I have the Month of Macabre stories, which is like still in production in the background. Um, I have special readings. I have the requests that I still have to do. I have my audio reading list, which is like very visible on my fan fiction page, of course. And then... Um, I feel like there's another list, but I can't really remember it right now. No, actually, I think those are all the, the those are all like um everything. So, um, month of Markov, like I said, it's still in production. I've said this once, so and I'm gonna keep saying it. I'm sorry, but we still need female voices because there are some female characters that are not in my vocal range, and aside from me, there are like I believe only two or three other females, and certain characters I don't believe is in all of our vocal ranges. So we definitely need a lot more females to like fill in the gaps. Please, please, we we need your help. Next um, is what I've been doing in life as I've just finished telling you guys about what I've been doing for my channel. Um, there's a lot of stuff that also keeps me from recording. So stuff at home, stuff with school and like anything else but like for a home I'm basically trying to go through like a whole renovation project because where I live is very very noisy aside from my cats there are outside things like horns and sirens and people yelling which of course the horns and people yelling don't get caught into my recordings because of the sound box that I use but the sirens get added in because they're louder and most times when I'm recording, the siren comes through, I will stop recording and um, and wait for that to pass because I don't want it to get caught up in recording. But since where I live is also very noisy quite frequently, there's never really a consistent quiet time to record, which is very, very unfortunate for me. So in terms of the room renovation for my room, um, I just have to make the space for it, just clear out a lot of things. And then my dad and I will take measurements and um, probably get some soundproofing foam to like stick in the corners and stick like in random places on the walls so that I can have a bit of a better recording experience. Um, I've also been looking for like a secondary table that can hold my laptop and my, my mic um, comfortably because currently I record either standing next to my bed and leaning over it or laying on my bed and that's not good because I can't always use my diaphragm properly and I want to be able to really project out a bit more so um there's that um another thing keeping me from doing a lot of recording is job hunting I'm 25 I have no job and I want to be able to support myself a bit more and not only that it ties into the next aspect which is school so a lot of you don't know this because I never really bring it up. But when I started this channel, I was going to school um, full time online. Like I had um, several online semesters. I had like four to five classes at a time. And like the semesters were like only six weeks long kind of. So there's a lot packed into that. So when I started this channel... Um, I started off with Cracked and Ghost Story, My Little Girl, and I couldn't like really record it every day with that because I was um, working as an intern somewhere, which took up like a lot of my time. I was doing classes, and it was just like a whole hectic mess. So, like there was like times where I did a record for like maybe a couple of days, and I believe I record I recorded stories in between each chapter to My Little Girl, and then now that I'm finished with school, I still have a lot of tuition to pay off. I'm waiting for my graduation date, but like that's where the job comes in. I want to be able to help my parents um, pay for my tuition and everything since they're currently paying for it out of pocket and everything. And I want to, like I said, be able to help with that. I should be able to help with that by now, but finding a job has not been easy for me. So um, keep me. Uh, I'll, 
Uh, sorry, wish me luck with that. <laughs> uh, I had too much sugar last night, I'm sorry. Um, but then there comes like what I'm most um, active in. I'm not always active with this channel, but I have a secondary channel, which is my primary channel, which I do anime reviews for. And if any of you are in the anime community, um, the link will be in the description down below. Um, and I'm pretty much always active with my anime re review channel. Because anime episodes for like each season, new anime or um, ongoing anime, come out every week. So sometimes I can't watch them like on the day they come out or like I watch them like the next day or like two days later. Um, in fact, after this, probably after this video goes up or before this video goes up, um, there are two anime that I'm going to watch and record. So if any of you are interested, check that out. But then also... I need to de-stress from like a lot of stuff that happens to keep me from recording. Um, just like a lot of stuff happens and I can't really control it. So the videos on the channels that I watch to de-stress actually kind of partially helped me out with creating Lily. So um, a little thing about me. I don't like horror movies. I can't stand them. They give me nightmares that should only be reserved for certain things. And it's not good. Sometimes the nightmares actually give me sleep paralysis or keep me up the rest of the night and that is not very good. And yet, I listen to channels that primarily deal with horror readings. Stuff with cryptids, creepypastas, possible real life experiences that could happen to anyone. And it's so strange. But like I said, this partially helped me give birth to Lily. So like the channels I watch are Darkness Prevails, Mr. Nightmare, Less Read, um, Unit five, number 522, and Snarled. And Snarled like primarily deals with like animations, which are really good. And um, yeah, I decided like, I don't know, one day I was watching a video and I was like, so these are, like, what can I do to, like, bring that kind of energy to my channel in terms of MLP? I had seen a lot of um, dark readings on film fiction, and then I figured, well, Lotus is, like, the lighter side of things, so how about what would happen if there was a nightmare version of her or a darker version? And that's how I got Lily. And honestly, it was kind of interesting doing that at first. And I'm just surprised at how well I've been doing with that since I don't often like horror stuff. But the final thing I want to talk about is future stuff. Of course, um, I have the request and like huge backlog of readings to do like there are some readings that I started I still need um voices for them like not voice but like I have voices but I like I need the character lines for them so like they're definitely on the back burner but like they're still prime like they're still like in the works so like when I release them you'll know um I have a ton of requests for me doing them myself which I may may and will ask for help for there are the collabs and, of course, other special readings. So, the list keeps adding because I keep adding to it. So, as soon as I start um, enacting um, the two to three recordings a week um, schedule, I should start to lighten my load a bit. Of course, that probably won't start until maybe... Oh my gosh, probably next month or maybe July. But if it starts next month, it'll have to be after my um, hiatus. For those of you who don't know, uh, the first um, week of June, I am going on a hiatus in memory of my friend who committed suicide last year. So I ask for your um, understanding and patience with me for that. Um, my next hiatus will be like for the week of his birthday. Um, 
And then after that, um, in at the end of August, I will not be able to do anything as I will be out of town with family. And like the mo the next most like most consistent thing you'll probably have for me is month of Merkab. So uh, in between the stuff for month of Merkab, um, I'll be releasing stories, of course. So like I said, hopefully I'll be able to lighten my load little by little. Um, um, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, for month of Merkaba, month of 11 next year, I'll only release like maybe a few readings per week for those so that I'm not driven fully insane by them. And of course, there will only be one shots, no multi chapter stuff. Um, I do plan to do more collabs, so if anyone is interested, um, feel free to come forward. Um, mostly, we mostly when I do the collabs with um, Sectus and Blah Six, we don't fully discuss stuff ahead of time. We more like pick out stuff on the fly and everything, and it's just fun that way because we have a lot of fun doing it. Um, Future projects also entail something I bought up a long time ago, and I thank um, AJ Pony for bringing this up, but I did have a non-MOP-related story that I wanted to turn into an audio drama. AJ Pony and I are still working on that, so hopefully we are able to get it together before the end of the year so that maybe next year we can start that off. And I don't know, maybe, um, maybe I'll find an, an MOP related project that I would like to turn into an audio drama. So, uh, fingers crossed for that, if it happens. But aside from that, just look forward to more things for me. Um, hopefully, um... I'll find more readings for Lily to do and Midnight and I will talk more and come up with more ASMR ideas for her to do. And just for a little context to any of you that are curious, um, our little pocket dimension is slightly chaotic, especially with the things Lily does in terms of experimenting. <laughs> I won't get into that. So, allow us a little time to organize ourselves a bit more, and things will pick up. Beside all of that, I am Lotus Moon. I wish you all a good morning, afternoon, evening, or night, wherever you are. And thank you all for your patience. Good night. <laughs>